Hi everyone, welcome to my, to my channel and today we will be reading a newspaper titled The Afro-American published in the year of 1930, July 26th and the article we will be reading is actually a question and answer from Julia Jerome and the title of the question is Should a woman marry a cold man? A woman of New York City asks us a question this week. My dear Mrs. Jerome, I'm 30 years old and engaged to be married to a man in Detroit. Up to three months ago, I considered myself very fortunate to have a man like Jim wanting to marry me. Jim is a lawyer and well off, and I'm a working girl. I have been working since I was 15 and I thought I was very tired of it and ready to have a good man take care of me. But three months ago I changed jobs and at my new job I have rapidly gained promotion. My new boss seems very interested in me and it thrills me just to have him look at me. Jim is the cold, athletic type of a man, and his kisses are like brothers. Last night, Jim phoned me and wanted me to come at once and marry him. It appalls me to think of tying myself to him forever. And perhaps it would be best for me. What do you think? Nearly married. And a response from Julia Jerome to this question. I do not advise you to go. Marriage to be successful must have a physical as well as a spiritual side. If Jim does not thrill you now, he probably never will. Whereas a husband can train a, w a wife in the art of love, a wife cannot train a husband. His masculine egotism gets in the way. A man thinks he naturally knows more than a woman and resents any inference that he doesn't. I believe that you are only considering marriage for economic reasons and that now with a better job and other prospects of love ahead you find no reason left to make you take this step. Write and tell Jim how you feel and break off with him at once. It isn't fair to keep him uh, dangling. This will be an unpleasant task, but you will feel relieved afterwards. And I believe happier. And that's the little question and answer. The next story I will be reading is published in the newspaper titled The Bessemer Herald. Uh, published January 22nd in the year of 1910 and the story is titled Boy Slays Two Robbers. A Florida lad of 17 years old guarding building for a father fires fatal shots. In a struggle with two uh, safe robbers Paul Sauls 17 years old who had been left to watch the parents' building in Tallahassee, Florida, shot and killed them both in the basement of the building. The boy was only slightly injured. The robbers have not been identified. A young Sauls was on duty for his father, a night watchman and the building. When he heard a knock at the door, he took up a pistol before opening it. When he did undo the fastenings, the lad found himself looking into the barrels of two pistols. Then the man pounced on the boy. I managed to get my pistol in a strained position and fired, said, said young Sauls. The shot evidently took effect, for then only one of the men clung to me. I placed my pistol on my shoulder and fired to the rear several times, after which I was freed. A complete outfit for safe robbing 
consisting of drills, nitroglycerin, fuses, caps, soap, wax, and electric a searchlight were found on the bodies of the bandits. And that is the two stories for today. Both of the stories that I just read will be available to download for free with the link provided in the description of the video. Also, the pictures that you guys saw of the vintage-like stamps will also be available for free to download, again with the link provided in the description of the video. Thank you for everyone that stopped by. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave your comment, and if you're a first-time visitor, don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a great day.